arc length and perimeter. So we already know the perimeter is the distance around the shape. An arc length is just part of a circle circumference, or just the curve length of a sector. So let's look at a sector. Let's say it has 30 degrees at the middle and has a radius of 6. The arc length is this bit here that goes around part of the circumference of the circle. And there's a formula we can use to find the arc length. And that's going to be the angle at the centre divided by 360 degrees, or if you know the fraction of the circle that you have, you could replace that with the fraction of the circle that you have, multiplied by 2 pi r, or pi d, because they're both just the circumference of a full circle. So in this case, we're able to find the arc length because we know the angle of the centre is 30 degrees out of our 360 times 2 times pi times our radius, which we know is 6. All that can go in the calculator and we'll get 3.1 centimetres to one decimal place, which means that that distance on the arc is 3.1 centimetres around. Let's look at another example. Let's look at the shape. We know the radius is eight millimeters and we want the perimeter of this entire shape. Well, to do that, we're gonna first need the arc length around the edge. And we just learned the formula for that. We know the arc length equals the angle of the sector over 360 times 2 pi r. So we need the angle inside here. We know this is a 90 degree angle. So this has to be a 270 degree angle to complete the 360 or we could replace this part here, knowing that we have three quarters of a circle. So that's what I'm gonna do. Times two times pi times its radius, which is eight. Putting that in the calculator is gonna give us 37.7 millimeters to one decimal place. But we were asked to find the perimeter of the whole shape. That just found us the arc length around the curved edge there. So the perimeter is going to be that arc length plus this radius and this radius. So plus a plus a. And altogether that's going to give us 53.7 millimeters to one decimal place.